This river is the Nether Rhine. It's just three or four kilometers to the west of Arnhem. To my left here, we have uh, the railway bridge going on. It was destroyed uh, by the uh, retreating Germans on the 17th of September 1944. And in the autumn of 1944, the front was actually a few uh, hundred meters to the uh, west of the railway line. And um, then the uh, on the 2nd of December 1944, I'm going to tell you a little story here. Um, it, uh, it, five o'clock in the morning uh, during a time when there were strong winds uh, and uh, the, this uh, dike here at Eldon uh, was blown up and um, this caused flooding which was so bad that it flooded a very large part of the ground between the, the, the nether, nether Rhine and the, uh, um, the Val. So uh, this was the uh, land between, for example, Niemegen and Arnhem that had been captured in Market Garden in September of 1944. Now, uh, some units had to uh, retreat, uh, they had to get themselves up to higher la land. Others, um, well, if they're already on high land, then <laughs> they stayed where they were. There's some places, for example, around Elst, which were considered to be high enough to uh, uh, to be relatively safe. The thing is though, it, the results weren't as great as the German engineers who planned this actually did. Uh, in February 1945, the lower Rhine uh, rose again and um, the, the risk of flood once more, but this time uh, it uh, wasn't uh, as flooded as it was uh, in December. A point I would also like to make is uh, the Dam Busters raids of uh, May 1943, which uh, destroyed uh, a large path. Uh, the water destroyed once the, the uh, dams, the two dams, had burst and uh, caused a great deal of damage. The thing was, though, RAF didn't follow it up with uh, raids, so before long, the Nazi war machine was back on track. There's so stories of water as a weapon in the Second World War.